Hello and welcome, welcome to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of your latest gaming news of myself, Amata. Today is the 22nd of October and this time I bring you some rather interesting news concerning the DualShock 4 controller. As it has been said by Toshimasa Oki, who is the manager of the company's product planning department, that Sony actually experimented with a number of radically different form factors for the new DualShock 4 controller, including one with a similar layout to the Xbox 360 controller. Now, this was during an interview with Aoki and GamesBeat, and he said, quote, At the very start, we were thinking of drastically changing the controller. We tried out new devices, changing the form factor. We start from there and then tried to talk to the game teams and tweak toward what the best form would be to have for those new devices. So we made, I don't know, more than 20 prototypes. Some had no buttons, just touch panels. Some were rounded, all this crazy stuff. And as I said previously, Aoki did liken one of the prototypes for the to the Xbox 360 controller, particularly in regard to where the analog sticks are actually placed on the controller. And he said, quote, we did test having the analog sticks on top since the Xbox has the left side on top above the D-pad especially from the shooter teams we got feedback that that's what they wanted they knew that consumers liked the 360 for shooters but having the two sticks symmetrical on the left and right sides is kind of in our DNA the prototype team myself and also the management team really felt that having this look is the PlayStation look and we had to keep that and interestingly though Sony also created a prototype with both sticks both sticks, excuse me, placed at the top of the controller, a format which Nintendo would later adopt for the Wii U Pro Controller. And Aoki said, quote, when, when Nintendo came out with that, we were like, wow, that's just like our prototype. And Sony apparently ultimately decided to abandon this prototype as it clashed with the now natural expectations players have when using a game controller. And Aoki continued by saying, quote, If we move the X up there, it just breaks all the muscle memory. The right hand mostly goes for both button and sticks, but the left hand stays on one of the other end and doesn't need to switch around between the left analog stick and the D-pad. That's why it's okay to switch around the left side, but switching the right side is really breaks the game experience. And there was also a word from Mark Cerny, who's of course lead system architect on the PS4 and of course a designer on the upcoming game Knack. And he's previously said that Sony's testing provided empirical evidence that having two joysticks together, as it has been since the first DualShock, worked just as well as offsetting them. And Sony said, quote, We made and tested a ridiculously broad style of controllers, and we would actually have people play games with them. And the current controller design came out of that. We did indeed conclude that the two joysticks on the same level works perfectly well. That did come out of our testing. So some rather interesting discussions to be had, I feel, from this particular piece of news. Well, obviously, it's perfectly natural to design and go through quite a few prototypes when thinking of a new controller. Obviously, they wanted to go with something different to the DualShock 3 and, of course, the DualShock 2. As the DualShock 3 and the DualShock 2 weren't hugely different obviously but the DualShock 4 is probably the first a big advancement we've seen from Sony in terms of the controller at least so it's perfectly natural that they went through a, a big stage of testing different prototypes getting feedback from players and just seeing what they felt was best I have to say I do agree with this idea of not messing with the right hand side because it does mess with muscle memory because of course if you are a long term gamer who's been say playing on PS2, PS3 for years and then all of a sudden the right side is messed around with and the X button is somewhere else or what have you that's just going to completely screw with you and you're going to be pressing what you think is X but is actually something else just because out of habit purely now the same goes for the Xbox 360 controller you've got the whole muscle memory thing going on on the right hand side so the left hand side is still important but not as important um, I think with the button placement is very important I can see <clears throat> definitely where they're coming from be nice to see some of these designs uh, in terms of like sketches or what have you actually be released just to see what the crazy ideas they were playing around with actually look like. I doubt we'll ever see that however it's just it would be nice to see from a development and design standpoint what 
ideas they were toying with and whether or not any of those ideas would actually have been worth exploring or if they made the right choice in going with the brand new design for the DualShock 4. I have yet to get my hands on a controller obviously I have have not been able to attend any of the live events with the PS4. I don't think it's even started yet or will be starting soon if I remember correctly here in the UK so I may do but as far as I'm aware there aren't any ones near me so I was probably just going to have to wait until the console is actually out for me to give you my thoughts on the improvements to the controller, how it compares to the DualShock 3 and all that good stuff. Anyway that is me done for this video, hope you've enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.